So I'm going to quick pull this fish out of the net. Now that's just a little eater size walleye. If we're keeping some to eat today, it'd be perfect. Um, but he popped right off in the net, and that's pretty indicative when you troll slow. Like I said, we're going anywhere from 1.2 to 1.4 miles an hour. Um, and so what I do, and I'll pull this bait out and I'll show you the bait, but I, a lot of times I'll upgrade the treble hooks to choke car hooks just because they're a lot sharper. It makes a big difference. But literally the second Dad scooped that fish, he came off in the net. So you give him an inch of slack, and they'll come off. You see, this is the bait that I just caught that fish on right here, and this is a, a husky jerk from Rapala. You see, this is a stock hook, and then these are upgraded hooks. These, these are Trocar um, treble hooks. This is a 310 series in the Trocar right here. And a lot of times, I'll just upgrade my back treble hooks, whether it's the very far back one or maybe the middle one. And the reason for that is the majority of your fish are going to come on those back hooks. And if a fish bites it hard enough that he's getting that front treble hook, he's not coming off anyways. And so, especially when you're trolling slow like we are today, uh, they're stretching this monofilament, you're trolling slow, there's a lot of slack in the line, so it's really important to have some really nice sharp hooks uh, to keep those fish stuck.